Okay, so first of all, let me start by saying that you can get the Lumion and Photoshop files in my Patreon page along with any other files of past videos plus the long form video. Now let's start. Uh, I am Steven and I am a creator of Show It Better. And last week I challenged myself to create the same image with Lumion and Photoshop. I tried doing these images to the best of my skills at the moment. So for anyone with better Lumion or Photoshop skills, they can have totally different outcomes, but these were my results. Now, if you want to see the Lumion video, click the link in the description or right here on top. For now, we're going to walk through the creation of the image in Photoshop and V-Ray. And in the end, I will draw my conclusions of which one I think is better. If you just want to see my comparison between the two, just skip over to the end of this video. OK, so as you guys know, I had modeled this house in SketchUp. So to a basic level of detail, since I am not really proficient in V-Ray, I had planned on rendering a basic image and doing the majority, more or less 80% in Photoshop. So after some basic texturing and importing 3D models from the warehouse, I rendered out in a very big resolution and also rendered it with many channels. Next, I imported the image and channels into Photoshop and started correcting the textures of the base render. I first started by compositing a different grass texture that took up the majority of the foreground. I imported three main good resolution images and blended them together. After this, I changed the perimeter walls to a better rock texture and adjusted it to fit the perspective of my view. The majority of these textures were downloaded from textures.com and were completely free and in a good resolution. Since the walls of this house were painted white and it's a house from the 60s, I wanted to give it a used old look, so I searched for a used white plaster and composited it into one big wall. Here you want to make sure that the side walls are a different texture that are adjusted to the perspective. And if there is a wall that is on a different plane from the others, then you also have to adjust the scale. The tile roof was also replaced, so I searched in Google a Span for a Spanish tile roof texture and replaced it and scaled it accordingly. To give the house a worn out look, I searched for a dirty, dirty concrete and rain stain textures in Google. With these, you can change the mode to multiply and lower the opacity and you will have some nice results. Next, it was time for the trees. I started adding some background trees and grouped them all in one layer. Here, it is very important that you check that everyone has the shadows in the same direction. It will be, it will be hard to notice with some, but if you zoom out, you will be able to tell which part of the tree is darker and which is lighter. I recommend also matching the scale to each tree. All of them don't have the same size, it really depends on how far they are from the camera and what type of tree it is. Have it. 
Finally, I added some foreground trees to frame the house and give it some depth. This process is different from the trees in the background because they have to be in a higher resolution and have to be in a bigger scale. Here, you want to be careful to not put trees in the center of the image or in places where it will be difficult to read the house, which is the main character of the image. You want to place the trees in a certain order so they frame the house and direct the, eye, the viewer's eye. After this, I had to solve the reflections. I didn't render the reflections from B-Ray because I knew I was going to have a lot of trees in the reflection and I wanted to be able to manipulate these one by one. So I made a reflection map and masked out the windows so some fake reflections could appear in the image. Since the main facade was facing the sun's direction, then the reflections were placed on a 20 to 30% opacity. Finally, I had to adjust all the colors, add some shadows, and a bit of fog to give some depth to the image. This process is not always the same, but you just have to check that all the colors of the images are more or less on the same playing field. For this, you can use adjustment layers like color balance or color gradient and set them to a screen or overlay. That way, it will make all the colors feel similar to one another. Also, you can do the same for the darker and brighter spots. Make sure the brighter spots are in all the places that you want the eye to be in and the darker spots in the places that the frame that frame the important parts of the image. Now let's see both images, uh, the one from Lumion and the one we did today. So as you can see, even though it is the same building from the same point of view, these are two radically different images. Which one is better? Well, it really depends on what your concept of better is. In my opinion, the image from Lumion provides a very good mapping and accurate lighting, but sometimes the colors are crunched and the overall final image doesn't have some soft transitions from dark to, from darker to lighter spots. On the other hand, the colors and lights from the Photoshop image are much more accentuated and have a more artistic feel to them. Nonetheless, the image in Photoshop took way longer to make and if I wanted to make change the viewpoint, I would have to spend some 2-3 to three hours again creating another image instead in Lumion. I could just change the point of view and batch out 5 or more images and have them in less than an hour. Overall, I like the Photoshop image much more. It has a more personal feeling to it, while Lumion still has a Lumion look, which sometimes make it, makes it feel 
a bit generic. Maybe the perfect formula can be in rendering in Lumion and adding details in Photoshop? I don't know. What I do know is that they are two drastically different images and both were very, very fun to make. Uh, which one did you like best? I am very interested in seeing your opinion around this. Would you like me to make a post digital collage version of this image? Maybe a more illustration type? Comment down below. And also remember that if you want to see the complete Lumion video, Photoshop editing video, and have access to the Lumion and Photoshop files, then go to our Patreon page and you can also support the channel in creating more videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Steven and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.